Hey family, I'm Wayne, and I'm here to share with you my slides of the day. I'm going to be reading from James chapter 1, verses 14 through 18, in the New Living Translation. It says, Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. These desires give birth to sinful actions, and when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. So don't be misled, my dear brothers and sisters. Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God, our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. He chose to give birth to us by giving us His true word, and we, out of all creation, became His prized possession. Reading these verses reminds me of the time when I was about maybe seven or eight. I was browsing in a 7-Eleven with my older brother. And in the process, I saw this candy that I really wanted, which was a Kinder Surprise Egg. If you're not familiar to what it is, it's essentially an eggshell made of chocolate. On the inside, there is a surprise, which is a fun plastic toy. At the time of growing up, I had this irrational fear for spending money. And not just my own money, but also my brother's money, my parents' money, other people's money in general. So then, back in that 7-Eleven, so I didn't want to ask my brother for help, and I didn't have money myself. So what did I do? I quickly took an egg, stuffed it in my pocket, and walked out of the store. Not long after I got home, my dad found out, and needless to say, I got into a lot of trouble. Even after that, though, I still struggled with my finances, and that led to a couple other similar incidents in my life. So just like what we read in James chapter 1, that oftentimes there are just areas in our lives that it's hard to walk away from the temptation and not act upon those temptations which leads to sin. As the verses continue though, it tells us that God is good and He has perfect gifts for us. And more specifically in verse 18, it says, God chose to give birth to us by giving us His true word. That we need to be encouraged knowing that in God's word, there is life. And that's what God has been doing with me in the area of my finances. God has really shown me His provision, His guidance, His generosity through His words, through the teaching of Jesus and many other areas in the Bible that tells us that God has great plans for me. And slowly, I've been walking out in the area of my finances and experienced freedom from fear of not being able to provide for myself. And so today, I want to encourage you to go deeper into God's Word. Find your own slice of the day. Wherever you're struggling, God has an answer for you in His Word because there's life in His Word. And don't just stop there. Share it with somebody, the slice that you received, because what you share could be the place where people receive freedom through the life that is abundant in God's word. So that's my encouragement for you today. Be blessed and have a great day.